Merry Christmas from me and my family. My name is Rev Rachel and I have put together this Christmas service with you and including you. So thank you for joining us. Feel free to light your Christmas candle at any time. We will have music and some readings and some meditation times and you can just close your eyes or you can look at the candles or just have soft eyes and we will um, see you on the other side. Merry Christmas and yes and we wish you a wonderful new year. birth of Jesus. This is how Jesus Christ was born. A young woman named Mary was engaged to Joseph from King David's family. Before they were married, she learned that she was going to have a baby by God's Holy Spirit. Joseph was a good man and did not want to embarrass Mary in front of everyone, so he decided to quietly call off the wedding. While Joseph was thinking about this, an angel from the Lord appeared to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, the baby that Mary will have is from the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and marry her. After her baby is born, name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. So the Lord's promise came true, just as the prophet had said, a virgin will have a baby boy and he will be called Emmanuel which means God is with us. After Joseph woke up, he and Mary were soon married, just as the Lord's angel had told him to do. But they did not sleep together before her baby was born. Then Joseph named him Jesus. Matthew 1, 18, Common English Version.
For I have held the precious gift that love brings. Even though I never saw a Christmas star, I know there is a light. I have felt it burn inside, and I have seen. Christmas is a time to come together, a time to put all differences aside, and I reach out my hand to the the truth that binds us all together. I would like to say a simple prayer that at this special Candles for Christmas by Howard Thurman. I will light candles this Christmas. Candles of joy despite all sadness. Candles of hope where despair keeps watch. Candles of courage for fears ever present. Candles of Peace for Tempest-Tossed Days. Candles of Grace to Ease Heavy Burdens. Candles of Love to Inspire All My Living. Candles that will burn all year long.
holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel voices, oh, night divine, oh, night, when Christ was born, oh, love and his gospel is peace. Change shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in the grateful chorus raise. We let all within us praise his holy name. Fall on your knees, oh hear the angels' voice. darkest part of the year and I know that for some of us the last few years have felt somewhat the same a lot of darkness and I often feel as if I'm doing a cha-cha between hope and waiting and yes sometimes frustration in the big picture of you I know we've come a long way as a human family but in this moment my heart is heavy for the countless inhumanities still in progress and I don't think that change has to have a long growing period but it often does several months ago I planted tulip and crocus bulbs now it's going to be a couple of months before I see any results of that labor and I think that in these times when it feels dark or difficult or unending it can be helpful to remember the tulips each movement towards the good of humanity is planting a seed. Each hurt we heal is pulling a weed. And the momentum that we are creating together is bringing more people along, even if it doesn't always feel that way. At Christmas, we commemorate the birth of the man Jesus. To the casual viewer, a regular baby born to regular parents of humble means not so different than the rest of us. And we continue to celebrate the birth of the awareness of the Christ consciousness, the consciousness of oneness of all that was demonstrated quite well by that man, Jesus. 
who was not so very different than any of us. And the real good news is that we don't have to be like Jesus to make a difference. We each can express our highest calling in our own unique ways. And there's no timeline for completion. We simply keep planting those seeds and pulling those weeds and removing the barriers and rocks and holding the watch through the winter waiting times and doing our part toward the good of humanity. In some ways, Christmas is the easiest time to learn and lean into that connection with humanity. The common messages of joy are joy to the world and peace on earth. Many faith traditions celebrate this time of year. And so we notice and embrace our similarities and we celebrate our diversity. And in these dark days, there is hope. People are connecting and sharing and growing and supporting. We are doing it as a community too. And putting together this service has warmed my heart, connecting with you all and remembering our virtual in and in-person times together. My Christmas wish is that we embrace the goodwill of the season throughout the year, that we embrace our connectedness and that each of us uses our unique talents to plant and cultivate the seeds of peace, humanity, justice, harmony, compassion, and joy in our lives and in our world. You are the light, the light of the world, my friends. So go and shine.
every day were Christmas by James Dillett Freeman. If every day were Christmas, how different life would be. If not one day, but all the year were ruled by charity. Had we the faith in miracles, a child has Christmas morn. Each day would be love's manger and Christ would be reborn. In us again to change and heal our outworn wars and ways. Had we a child's or shepherd's gift of wonderment and praise. Yet every day is Christmas when we have learned to live by love's law, learned not how, not how to get, but only how to give. And like a child can wonder, and like a child can pray, but have the grown-up wisdom to give ourselves away. Thank you.